Good evening, Eric and Deanna. This video of Ivo Otieno in custody at the Henrico Jail is nearly an hour long. We're getting a closer look at how he was taken from a cell into a police vehicle before being taken to Central State Hospital. And we're getting a closer look at the treatment his family says was inhumane. Caroline Ouko, Ivo Otieno's mother, remembering her son yesterday. He had an infectious smile. Oh, I'll miss his smile. On March 6th at 2.26 in the afternoon, five Henrico Sheriff's personnel are seen in the hallway. Ivo Otieno is in a cell and puts his hand on the door. A minute later, a deputy passes a pair of khaki pants through a rectangular hole in the cell. Otieno passing the pants back through, and there seems to be a struggle. At one point, Otieno and a deputy each have one hand on the pants, Otieno popping them in and out until the deputy ultimately yanks them out. At 2.28 p.m., the same deputy pulls what looks like an orange tray out of Otieno's hands and throws it on the floor. Just after 2.30, the deputy opens the door and at least six personnel rush in. About 15 minutes later, six personnel carry Otieno by his arms and legs to a garage. We have blurred him out in this video because he is partially naked, covered in some kind of debris. He's wearing khaki pants that are pulled up to his knees. This is the first attempt to carry him into a vehicle, into that white van, but for some reason that did not work. At 2.56, the deputies carry him into a metallic-colored SUV. At first, he doesn't fit. A deputy is seen adjusting him, then closing the door behind him. Almost 15 minutes later, the white van pulls off, followed by the SUV with Otieno inside. Ouko says that there will be justice for her son. Those nine men, those nine thugs, and a woman, those ten monsters, those ten criminals, I was happy to hear that they were indicted. Otieno would later arrive at Central State Hospital. He was let in just after 4.15 in the afternoon by the same deputies. He went on to be pinned down for 12 minutes. CPR was administered, but he did not survive. In the Digital Center, Rachel Keller, 8 News.